In this video, we're going to talk about the atomic number. Okay, the atomic number is the number of protons in an atom. So if you look at a periodic table, you're going to see it's usually arranged like this. You have a large chemical symbol in the middle. And then usually you have the atomic number on top. And if you look on a periodic table, uh, you're usually going to find that somewhere they have a key that's going to tell you where the atomic number is. Okay, so this right here, in this case, is the atomic number. So phosphorus has 15 protons. Now the atomic number is important because it can tell you several things about an atom. Well, the first one we've already said, it tells you the number of protons. So I could give you any atom on the periodic table and you'd be able to tell me aluminum has 13 protons, molybdenum has 42 protons, lithium has 3 protons, krypton has 36 protons. Okay. The next thing that it tells you is it tells you the name of the atom. So the only thing that identifies what the atom is is the number of protons. So if it has seven protons, it is nitrogen. It doesn't matter if we change the number of neutrons. It doesn't matter if we change the number of electrons. Those can change. The only thing that matters is the number of protons. So if it has 47 protons, it's silver. If it has two protons, it's helium. It doesn't matter about protons, it doesn't matter about neutrons or electrons, make sure you understand that, it only matters about protons. Number three, it will tell you the location on the periodic table. You'll notice the way the periodic table is laid out, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, it keeps going up. The periodic table is laid out from left to right, top to bottom, in order by periodic, by the atomic number, in order by the number of protons that it has. We're going to get into a little more detail about why the periodic table is shaped this way in a later video, but more important right now is that the atomic number is how the periodic table is organized, left to right, top to bottom. And then finally, if it's neutral, if an atom is neutral, then it will also tell you the number of electrons. All right, and let's take a look at that and see if that makes sense. So here we have an atom that has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight protons. So we should be able to look over here and see eight protons. This is oxygen. Eight protons means that it's oxygen. Number of protons tells you the name of an atom. If it was neutral, its charge would be zero. Remember from our first video, that's what it means. It means our charge is zero. So if we have eight protons, we know that's a plus eight charge. So we need to know how many electrons we would have to have in order to cancel that out. Now remember, Neutrons are neutral. They have no charge, so they don't have any, any part of this calculation. We're only talking about electrons because they are the negative ones that would counteract the positive protons. So how many negatively charged electrons would we have to have to counteract eight positively charged protons? Well, obviously the answer is eight. Eight minus eight is zero. If it helps you, you can go through and cross them out. Cross that one here, cross that one here, cross that one here, cross that one here, cross that one here. And you'll see that it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. In summary, the atomic number is important because it tells you several things about the atom. Remember, first off, the definition is it tells you the number of protons. That's what the atomic number is. Secondly, it tells you the name of the atom. If we change the number of protons, we change the name of the atom. The number of neutrons and the number of electrons has nothing to do with the name of the atom. The only thing that tells you the name of the atom is the number of protons. Third, it tells us the location on the periodic table. 
The periodic table is laid out by atomic number, starting on the top left and increasing as you go to the right and down. And lastly, if the atom is neutral, then the atomic number is going to be the same as the number of electrons. Okay, so if the atom is neutral, then the atomic number is going to be the same as the number of electrons. So if you have eight protons, you also would have eight electrons. If you had 13 protons, you'd have 13 electrons, so long as the atom is neutral.